Hello, and welcome to our tech tip on how to install the SMA integrated storage system. Now, I've prepared some things ahead of time, so the wall mounting bracket for the inverter and battery is already installed. The inverter, battery, and battery cover are all laid out and ready to go. So, let's first pick up the inverter. This is the best way of holding it. Now, let's get things ready so that I can grip it easily and attach it to the wall mounting bracket in one go. Next, we bring the battery to the wall, holding it just like before. We then put it on the wall mounting bracket nice and easy. Good. Now, in order to do the wiring for the inverter, first we need to unscrew the cover. And we'll use a number 5 Allen key here. All right. Now we've got the cover off. We also prepared the AC connection ahead of time. Just put it into this screw terminal here, push down, and that's it. Okay, now there's a special feature here under the display. This is where we connect the Ethernet communication plug into one of the Ethernet jacks. It doesn't matter which one. All right, one click in, and that's it. Push down. Simply connect the DC line to the included SunClicks plugs under here and push it back. The DC connection to the SunClicks is just like all other Sunny Boy TL devices. Okay, now we can connect the battery. There are two cables needed for this. One is the data cable and the other is the power cable, which we will connect first. Now take off the protective cover and connect the power cable to the battery here. Now be careful, there's voltage from here on out. The inverter now has voltage from the battery. Now we attach the data cable here. Click twice. And there it is. Next, we slide the battery into the inverter, install the battery cover. Just put it here and press on the side until the whole thing locks. Finally, we're going to put on the inverter cover and then we'll be all set. For this, just attach the Allen screws like this. Okay, now we just need to switch on the DC disconnector and then of course the AC circuit breaker. And with that, we've finished installing the Sunny Boy Smart Energy as part of the integrated storage system. It's quite simple. Just keep in mind that the only difference from the Sunny Boy TL is the battery connection via two included cables, the power cable and the data cable, which I just showed you. The integrated storage system can really only be expanded with the Sunny Home Manager and the SMA Energy Meter. The Sunny Boy Smart Energy can simply be connected with an Ethernet cable. Thank you for watching, and I hope you will join us again next time.